Just take a look at this. Next Wednesday. Now, we're looking at the options for handling our online orders. They're going through the roof and frankly, the lead time for delivery is blowing out. We need to improve our performance in this area. Any suggestions? Well, as I see it, we have three options. The obvious one is to employ more people to do the job. Another alternative is to automate the system more cut down on the physical handling. And the third option? We could outsource. What are the pros and cons? Well, looking at increasing staff versus automation, we have to consider the cost. Automating has a higher capital cost than putting on more staff. On the other hand, employing more people is more expensive over a long term. If we keep growing, it'll cost more in the long run. How likely is it that we'll see continued growth? I'd say it's a certainty. Oh, I'd say a high probability. Nothing certain in business. So what about the third option? Outsourcing. It does take the problem off our hands, but we lose contact with our customers. What about the bottom line? Outsourcing is the cheapest option and the easiest in the short term. But if we want to keep the operation in-house, the best option is automating our system. The only downside is we're taking a risk that our business will keep growing. Which we hope it will. We certainly do. We've looked before at formal meetings. Today's meeting is a more informal one to discuss a specific issue. The discussion is more free-flowing or uncontrolled. Let's look first at some of the language used by Denise when she introduces the problem. Now, we're looking at the options for handling our online orders. They're going through the roof and frankly, the lead time for delivery is blowing out. We need to improve our performance in this area. Denise says we're looking at the options. Options are different solutions or answers to a problem. What is the problem? Online orders are going through the roof. Online orders are orders for goods received through the internet. And if they're going through the roof, they are increasing in number very rapidly. The lead time for delivery is the amount of time it takes from when the order is received to when it's delivered. And if it's blowing out, that time is becoming too long. We use the expression blowing out for something which is becoming too great in a bad way. So to improve our performance means in this case to shorten the time it takes to deliver goods. Let's look at Tan's suggested options. Well as I see it we have three options. The obvious one is to employ more people to do the job. Another alternative is to automate the system more, cut down on the physical handling. And the third option? We could outsource. Tan describes three options. First, he lets us know that this is his opinion by saying, as I see it. Practice with Tan some different ways of letting someone know that what you're stating is your opinion. As I see it, there are three options. In my opinion, there are three options. From my point of view, there are three options. As far as I'm concerned, there are three options. The three options are employ more people, automate and outsource. To outsource means to use an outside company. When presenting different options, we can order them by numbers like this. Firstly, we could employ more people. Secondly, we could automate. And thirdly, we could outsource. We can also use phrases such as one option is to and another option is to. We can also use linking words such as or and alternatively. Or we can use a combination of these methods. 
Now let's look at the language used to discuss these options. Well, looking at increasing staff versus automation, we have to consider the cost. Automating has a higher capital cost than putting on more staff. On the other hand, employing more people is more expensive over a long term. When considering two options, we are comparing them. Barbara talks about increasing staff versus automation. She is saying that she is going to compare these two things. Another phrase she could use is as against. Practice with her. Let's look at increased staff versus automation. Let's look at increased staff as against automation. When comparing two things, we use comparative adjectives. Listen to Barbara again and see if you can hear the two comparative adjectives. Automating has a higher capital cost than putting on more staff. On the other hand, employing more people is more expensive over a long term. She says automating has a higher capital cost than putting on more staff. Higher is a comparative adjective. We often use then for the option that is being compared. Remember, for words of longer than two syllables, we use more for the comparative. Employing more people is more expensive. Because Barbara has already said what the second option is, automating, she doesn't need to say employing more people is more expensive than automating. Notice that she uses the phrase on the other hand. This is used to introduce another side to an argument. Practice this with Barbara. On the one hand, automation is expensive. On the other hand, it's more efficient. Another way of comparing two ideas is to use linking words such as but, although and however. Automation is expensive, but it's more efficient. Although automation is expensive, it's more efficient. Automation is expensive, however, it's more efficient. Now listen to the discussion about the likelihood of continued growth. How likely is it that we'll see continued growth? I'd say it's a certainty. Oh, I'd say a high probability. Nothing certain in business. <laughs> Denise asks how likely continued growth is. In looking at words to describe likelihood, we can use these words. Unlikely, possible, probable, certain. So we can say it's unlikely, it's possible, and so on. We can also qualify these with words such as very, quite, highly, or reasonably. It's very unlikely, it's quite possible, it's highly probable, it's reasonably certain. And in a different kind of sentence, we can use them as nouns. It's a certainty, it's a possibility, there's a probability, there's a high likelihood. But we don't say there's an unlikelihood. We say, there's no likelihood. Finally, look at what happens when we compare more than two options. Outsourcing is the cheapest option and the easiest in the short term. But if we want to keep the operation in-house, the best option is automating our system. Did you hear the superlative adjectives used to compare more than two things? Listen again. There are three. Outsourcing is the cheapest option and the easiest in the short term. But if we want to keep the operation in-house, the best option is automating our system. Well, our bottom line is that that's all we have time for today. So I hope it's quite certain I'll see you next time for the Business of English.